Users on Watcher's Grave on Nessus, he's currently selling the Season of Arrival activity armor, which is pretty rare. I haven't seen him sell this in a long time, if at all, actually. And yeah, definitely try to scoop some of these up. Some of these are really, really good. So let's just get into it. For the Warlocks, we're going to be looking at the arms and too high mobility for me. Also too high mobility, too high mobility. And Jesus, 25 on resilience, bro. I would probably bump up their discipline to a 22. So that way you guys can have high discipline and high resilience and then just bump something else that's higher in recovery, like a minimum of like 25 or 30. So that way you can bump it up even more. So that way it can even out. But yeah, the boots are pretty wild. Also, the boots are probably the coolest piece from the whole set for the Warlocks. Uh, I'm not saying the chest piece or the helmet's not good. It's just for me, the boots just look really cool. Uh, the boot, the helmet is really cool and the chest piece is cool, but the, at the same time you have this really weird rib cage thing on, on the sides that I'm not really a big fan of. The arms are pretty boring and the bond actually just does not change color, the glow. So just be aware of that. Other than that, yeah, the uh, you pick, pick up what you want. It Personally, again, I always say this in every Zero video, but if you have the, the shards for it, buy the whole thing because you might never know when some of these pieces will be uh really good in certain pieces that you're using so yeah next is the titan for the titans i think the chest piece is really good i think the mark is pretty good i think the boots are also pretty good other than that i think the helmet's whack and the arm is very asymmetrical so just be aware of that other than that let's uh, look at the actual armor set um recovery at 22 is really nice strength at 22 is also really nice um I would like to see higher resilience man if that mobility and resilience were switched then i think this would be a great role uh, not saying it's a bad role it's still a good role uh, i would probably bump up the recovery to a 32 and then just grab a resilience piece that's a lot higher so i can even out uh hold fast plates hmm, damn do you you get you're getting ones on pretty much everything i would probably pick this one up and put a plus 10 on recovery so that way i can have a 20 on that because 16 isn't bad for resilience and discipline and intellect being at that numbers aren't bad either uh this is very uh, this is a good like all-rounder especially if you put the uh font of might i think it's called uh, let's actually see what it's called because i would probably do i would probably do this one right here yeah plus 20 and then oh, it's, see what is it called radiant light i would put radiant light for the extra 20 uh the extra 20 so then this would actually have really good numbers because it would be 16 a 20 14 15 and a 22 which would be gross oh my god yeah i i would probably recommend this one um i would mm. I probably would not recommend this one. I mean, it's a one on pretty much everything. Once you master work it, it's a one on everything, but uh, too low for me. Like this, like 16 resilience is already like the cap of like, it's fine. Like I can make it work, but it'll be a 15 once master work. Nah, I'm not, I'm not about that one. Way too high mobility. So Titans, let me know what pieces are you going to pick up? I would probably say if you wanted to get, just get one piece from it. I think the chest piece is probably the coolest piece from the whole set um but to be fair i i think the titans like the titans hold fast set is kind of weak um I, th I think it is the weakest piece from the whole from the whole clans classes i should say so titans let me let me know titans let me know what you guys think as for the hunters i think a lot of pieces are really good i think the chest piece is really good i think the arms are pretty decent the cloak is probably the best piece from the whole set and the helmet actually is act pretty good as well i love the glow the only piece that's kind of weak is the boots and even then it's just because one piece is unshaderable so hunters let me know which pieces you're going to be picking up but let's look at the actual armor so ability is really high on this one um i would probably bump up the recovery a bit to 10 actually so that way i can get a 20 once masterwork fuck this is really high actually a 21 is really high uh if you put powerful friends on it it'll be a 41 43 month once masterwork i don't even know if it goes that high huh uh, this is pretty decent especially since you, once you uh masterwork you'll have a 
40 if again if you put powerful friends a 43 and a 20 yeah 20 on recovery and then an 18 on discipline this is pretty good i would probably pick this up uh wow for the chess piece uh eh, i mean again powerful friends and a recovery mod would probably be the best thing here i mean discipline and intellect being at a one is pretty nice but eh. for the helmet oh shit intellect's really high resilience is really high the only thing that sucks is recovery and mobility are really low <sighs> i think at this point this would be a good piece to equal out the resilience because if you're using pieces like these two right here the resilience is really really low so you you probably want something that's really high to equal it out and the boots are pretty terrible not gonna lie i mean this is pretty good for a strength build i guess but yeah i don't know what do you guys think let me know in the comments below uh yeah that's pretty much it hunters let me know what you guys are going to be picking up i personally would probably like if i didn't already have this i would probably pick up just all these four right here and then ignore the boots because the boots actually have a piece that are unshaderable if i remember correctly um let's see so. yeah i was right so you guys can see the white piece in the middle doesn't change color which is unfortunate i mean it's still looking it still looks cool it's just be aware that this does not change color so you would have to like work around the white although the white is not a terrible uh color to work around so it's not that big a deal as for the weapons we have killing wind and demo for whispering slab which is an interesting choice with accuracy it's pretty good man i wish i liked whispering slab but i just fucking hate it like I think it's this like it just feels heavy even though it's a lightweight uh we have wolf tone draw with impulse amplifier and dragonfly which is not terrible like actually not terrible i'm just not a big fan of dragonfly personally like well eh. we have dire promise with auto loaning holster and osmosis man i don't even want to look at this but i want to see if there's nope there's no second perk okay i wouldn't pick that up uh, Icolos SRV, I'm not gonna, just the sniper. Feeding Frenzy and High Impact, which is, hmm. Nah, like the God Roll for me would be the, uh, I forgot what it's called, the Seraph, Seraph, Seraphite Browns, I think it's called, or something like that. The one, the, the, the magazine that's, uh, exclusive to only Icolos, I would get that one. And then, uh, I think it's Triple Tap or Fourth Times a Charm for, for the first perk and then high impact reserves for the second one i have that role i just never use it because i i would use the sniper rifle far future surplus and wellspring i actually have this role as well it's pretty fun uh i just never used it as well uh honor's edge relentless strikes and on guard and ignore that outlaw and moving target for night watch do you have more please tell me like multiple no unfortunately it's not a bad role i just definitely for pvp for the exotics we have hawk moon with eye of the storm um some people are definitely going to want to pick this up because some like i personally don't like mods or perks that like only work when i'm about to die but i know people do like that so whatever vorpal weapon on dead man's tail even though vorpal or dead man's tail is like nerfed i would still tell you to pick this up because it's so really good but yeah For queen breaker which is man dude if you didn't have the cream breaker you should be happy now because this shit at one point was annoying <laughs> we have kepri sting with damn ability is pretty high resilience is pretty high what the fuck okay uh i'd probably bump up the resilience so i can get a 2020 i mean it'll be a 22 24 once master work and then a one on a discipline and intellect and strength hmm. this isn't terrible i mean recovery is really low but at that point i would just equal it out with another piece that's really high on recovery um <clears throat> ac dc feedback fans i'm i'm making the video for this one the fashion video uh mobility is too high mobility is also way too high so let me know what you guys think let's see what we get it's probably gonna be something garbage <sighs> ophidious space man these rolls suck donkey dick bro oh my god um swing this pretty high i don't know Grant's too knife 
two knives per charge is like cool but at the same time i don't know maybe maybe i can make it work with not this one with this one proximity explosive so that way like the first one can get me um send it wherever the fuck radiant and then the next one i'll just keep using to get my knives back i don't know <sighs> we'll see i think i have a better role in my fucking vault though i'm just so sick and tired of getting bad exotics bro it's not even bad i shouldn't say that it's just not something i want um so the one i have is 18 recovery 7 resilience 20 recovery discipline it was like it's not bad it's a good hunter role but I'm, I'll, I'll keep it fuck it whatever let me know what you guys think i'm gonna be giving or not giving, not giving out shit uh <laughs> i will be releasing another fashion video soon like literally almost right after this video i just need to make the thumbnail because the video is already done so let me know what you guys think if you guys want to follow me again links are in the description below thank you guys for all the support and i'll see you guys later